Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, thanks for coming along. And if you've already subscribed, thanks for coming back. Um, today I'm going to go through my 2023 lineup. Looks like quite a lot here. So let's get started. Let me unpack it all and see how we go. Okay, there's quite a few specialty uh, planners here and I know it's probably a bit excessive but there's a reason for everyone so um, this one here um, these two here are my um, Jibun Tetsu's which is a new one to me this year um, I kind of like the format so I thought I'd try these out so these are, are new planners to me so they're new in my um, stash this year so I will go through things that I can. So this is actually my work planner, my everyday carry, my work planner, basically my Bible for what goes on during the week. So um, the way these books are set up, there's I've got three books in here. So this here is what they call the ideas book, which really is basically just a grid notebook. So in here I will do my... Um, to-do lists for things that I need to do for work and for home. Then in this one here is basically the um, the weekly yeah, setup. Just trying to find where the different book is. And then this one here is the daily. So in the weekly, it basically just has all my uh, week stuff um, and what I need to do. So this is last week I'm just trying out different um, plans each week I love doing uh, this style so when I get back to work which I started back today this is going to be filled up basically with work stuff so really how it works is I generally work I work from 8 30 to 12 30 every day unless of course I have an appointment up here then I'll swap my hours around um, so I basically do what I do for work and then what I do in the afternoon. Then I go over to my dailies and I try and do a synopsis of what happened during the day. That relates to work. So that's really the sum total of what this particular planner is about. So that's my everyday carry. Uh, this is a proper Jibin Techo cover. Um, it houses uh, stencils. Um, and it's got these pockets. I've got just got a few little things here and there But otherwise, it's just my everyday work come whatever and Then this one here is exactly the same, but this is the a5 slim. Sorry, that was a b6 slim So this is the a5 slim Similar setup, but this one here is just the uh, weekly um set up there's no uh, dailies in it um, I do have a um, notebook at the back this one here is a 100% my finance planner so what I do in here in the monthly section I will write down what uh, reoccurring bills that I have so that I can like this is this month so I can have a glance um, across and see what kind of um, week I'm going to have or, or fortnight, I get paid fortnight and I also have my business stuff in here so the green is my business expenses whereas the other is my personal expenses so I do that each month I don't know if I did December yeah I did December's and so uh, this is a new thing that I'm trialling this year to try and focus in and hone in on my business and my finances really so this is this week but I'll show you so last week so what I do generally I'm just going to show you a blank week so what I do is I put my income in put my expenses and then we come up with a balance so I do this each day so that at the end of the week I should have a balance to carry forward this part down here this is my business and this is my personal so um, this week I don't get paid, I get paid in this particular week, so I get paid here. And then, um, so this is what I need to 
get a handle on is what expenses come out when like your insurances your subscriptions all of those so what i've done is i've um, put them all through right to the end of january and then i'm just now just um doing up setting the pages up ready for the future so that's 100 percent finance planner stays at home doesn't go anywhere uh, i try and update this every day let's see how we go with that uh, this little beauty here is uh, one of my prized possessions it's got my initials here this is a, a vin vintage uh, louis vuitton uh, a, uh, i think it's called agenda um tiny little pen thing there but that's okay i don't put a pen there i had this custom made for me last year so i never really wanted to use it but i've decided to use it for work this just holds my client information so it's very confidential what's in here but um just to to show you this is not confidential this is just my monthly switch i don't really do anything with I was going to put my finances in here, but I changed that over. So um, this is the new year. As you see, I don't put anything in here. So, but these are all beautiful. So my dashboards are all custom made for me. Um, this front one here um, has got my name on it, my Louis Vuitton. So this eventually will be just 100% of my business. So in here, I um, hold my client's uh, files, so I can't go through them. So that's just information 100% about what I've got going on with my clients. And this is just notebooks at the back, which again, they're all custom made for me. So that's um, what I do with this particular planner. So it only goes to work and home. Um, got my initials engraved on there it is just such a beautiful piece it's just a shame to leave it sitting up on my uh, cabinet but that is my work planner then I have my five-year diary um, I took it out because I'm doing some work on it so this is 2022 to 2026 I have finished 2022 and for the first time in my life or bar a few days I have journaled in this every day so as you can see I go straight across you can do whichever you like but I um, religiously sit down at night and journal in this book I love it I don't put too many stickers in if I do I try and make sure they're not too thick I started um, putting my sterling ink subscription um, vellum in because I didn't have anything else to do with it because it was A6 size but now she's doing it in B6 you'll see where they are going so I've got a couple in here um, I may uh, put some blank ones in just to make them all even so that's um, my five year diary as you can see I've started I've done the first so I am up to I haven't done yesterday's and I've still got today's to go so it's the other thing too which I've changed is I've put the um, the weather so that I can see what's hap what the weather was like I didn't do this last year but it would be nice to actually see what the weather was like this time last year so that is my a6 five-year Hobonichi diary journal then I have my uh, weeks, which is my wellness planner. This one doesn't leave home. This is housed in a, um, a Motum uh, Hobonichi cover. Um, I've got a few bits of deco here from various places. Coffee Monster Co. Um, I'm not too sure. This one here is Plan to Create not too sure where a lot of these have come from but if i do remember i'll put the list of shops that i um, generally get things from and that's where what will be in there i do have a notebook in here but i don't really use it so this is my 2023 weeks planner i did actually move into it uh, early 
I um, got this idea from Planning with Kay on YouTube. She did this with hers and I thought that's a brilliant idea. So in the um, index, I've written down what's on what page. I still have a few more to write down. Then I started with, this is October. So I started in October with my wellness. So what I did, I've changed it now. I just put in some of these fields that I want to basically track um, for my chronic health condition. Um, so I was doing work hours, mood, breakthrough medications, weather and feelings. So I did that all through October and it's all sort of um, uh, covered in sterling ink. Then at the end of October, I wrote down um, some key areas of my health condition. Then we did November and November still followed, well, followed a little bit different work, mood, um, endone, which or medication, weather and feelings that went through the whole of um, November. And then um, December started in the front. But what I've done now is I just put that um, breakdown of each month at the back. So I've done that right through till, um, till December next year. I've got it ready to go. And when I get my sterling ink um, stickers, I will put them on there. So then I come through to December and I have got my pain score triggers. So what could have led to that, whether it be um, a weather, uh, I've got a cyst in my foot, so I've been using a moon boot. How did that feel? I've got the weather tracking here and my mood. So that's what I'm doing is my pain, uh, any indicators or triggers, weather and my mood or gratitude. So I just do a, a very simple uh, setup of this every uh, week. So this is this week. Obviously, I've got two pages to fill out. And um, so that's what I'll do. So this is what I would take along to my doctors to find out um, how long I've been in pain for a certain thing and uh, what other things that I had to do uh, during the month. So that is 100% my wellness planner. Then we come to my half year common planner, Sterling Inc. common planner in my Louis Vuitton uh, Paul's notebook. Um, it's probably a little bit too big, but I don't really mind. Um, if this chunks up a bit, there's still plenty of room. Um, I have got a, a Lauren Phelps uh, cover, which fits perfectly fine. So this again is um, decorated fairly simple, mostly with sterling ink, being a sterling ink planner. And this here is my social media planner. This is going to be my vision board, which I will put together when I sort of decide what I want to put in there. I have done my goals, so they're already done and set up and my goals and now my tracking which actually relates back to my goals uh, then i've got the monthlies which are just set up i don't think i'm going to do anything uh, too terrific in here yet I haven't decided um, i may actually put down the videos that i upload and that type of thing but at the moment i'm just leaving it as it is then I've got my weeklies. Um, this is obviously the first week. Didn't like the way I was doing it. I was more liking this style. So, um, and also when I set up the next week, I changed a little bit down here. So this is still a work in progress. Then when we get back to the um, dailies, so this is um, December that I started. Um, I did a couple of days, too anxious to actually write in them. <laughs> then I come to the January and um, I've started working on it. So I um, have started, this is actually a list of uh, the 
videos that are on my YouTube channel at the moment and when I put them up. Then I've got some statistics here of what um, uh, what's going on with my channel. And then I've got, um, excuse my dogs, then I'm going to set it up. So that's basically what this is going to be. Uh, just talking um, ideas or anything to do with YouTube, Instagram, anything to do with my social media. So that is my social media planner. Then I have my personal journal. So this is housed in an A6 Gilio. Um, I got this from a D stash. I love my um, Gilio. It's um, beautiful, soft, and it's starting to um, patina very nicely. I haven't really got any marks. Um, a couple of indentations, but that's from where it's been sitting. So it's it's just, yeah, it's just beautiful. I love it. Um, don't really have anything in the back here. The pen loop is not, it's got elastic on it. I could stretch it, but I just put a pen in there for the fun of it. I've only just received this, so there's not a lot in it. I've just done a little bit of setting up, which I've just started to do. I put this pouch in there so I can put the stickers that I'm using in this planner. Um, so I've just got some TCMC vellum there and um, of course my sterling ink vellum for the months haven't done anything here haven't set up my goals because I've only just received this and um, so this is January so again not sure how I'm going to use this so I've kind of just left it and this is uh, last week I haven't sort of done anything I haven't written in it yet so I'm not sure what and how I'm going to do it um, so that's something that I need to decide so this is my memory keeper my journal so this is replacing um, my a6 Hibonacci from last week so she's not really set up yet I haven't written in her at all so I'm still deciding how I want to set it up I probably set this up with you guys when I do this week and then figure out from there what I want it what I want these pages to look like so this is my uh, journal so my personal journal now to show you the journal that I had last year this was the journal that I did last year again um, I did a a6 Hibonacci and I did the whole year so it's full of my thoughts and what was going on in my personal uh, life and this is yeah yep it's just amazing so this is the one that the uh, common planner is replacing so I am um, I don't know whether I'm going to do it full-on stickers or just going to do um, just writing and do minimalistic or just stick with sterling ink kits I'm not sure I haven't figured that part out but this one now can go away because she is finished so that one's being retired and this one here is another one that I have that is being retired only for the time being and this is my B uh, A6 um, Mulberry planner so this was my uh, everyday carry. I use this as my wallet and um, it just holds all my personal information, personal finances, my goals, all the stuff that I, um, I like to have available to plan with. That's what's in here and obviously I've moved out. This is by far my favourite second favorite at the moment planner as far as softness and um, quality it's just it's just unbelievable quality I love it I love it I love it but she's having a rest at the moment um, and I'll probably get back to that in the new year and this is my baby this is my wallet this is my pocket mulberry so she is now the creme de la creme of my planners so she's my um, wallet so in here I have my uh, calendar my weekly calendar 
uh, have my monthly calendar, which is a cat espresso fold out, which I love these inserts. Got my yearly um, uh, planner, which shows in a year what I've got on. I've just put in paydays, days off, all those type of things. Um, and then, so these are the actual um, inserts that you get from um, Mulberry when you buy the book, uh, buy the, the diary. So you get, um, I assume now you just get 2023. Later on in the year, you get both, I would imagine. So that's what I've got in there. In here is just got some information about my channel, some information, this is all medical information um, that I, I carry with me in case I need to um, go into hospital, which I did on the weekend. Um, so I've got everything here. It's got a list of all my medications and what when I take them and all those type of things. Um, this is just, I've got a uh, tracker here, just doing some basic tracking and another tracker, which again is just basic information. Then I've got my financial section, which is basically my own personal cash. Then I've got my order trackers. And then I've got this daily, which is basically helping me. I write down what I'm doing on my daily plan. And then I've got a couple of uh, cards that I need, medical cards. Then this little traveller's uh, folder. Um, it's the pocket traveller's notebook folder, which I wasn't using. So I decided to punch some holes in it and taped up this section. And now it's holding my cash. Then I've got this little Louis Vuitton um, address book. So I've just got some addresses in there which is just because then I've got my uh, key cards and uh, in here I've got my business cards which if I need to I can give them out and I have um, a Gilio pen but because this particular um, uh, pen loop is quite generous I can fit the pens that have got the, the rubber in them so um, I can use those if I um, need to. So I can put, so these ones here with the Sarasta, I can put one of those on, they'll fit quite nicely. And that is the final one of my 2023 collection. I will bring them all back and them all. I'm not sure if I can fit them all in. This is my collection. So if you liked what you saw, um, I'd like for you to give me a thumbs up if you want to see more of um, what I have going on in the planner world or the pain world then please press that subscribe button um, and if you want to be alerted to when I upload a new video push the bell, bell button um, and if there's anything that you'd like to talk about please feel free to leave a comment I will put a couple of um, uh, places and um, subs uh, in I don't have any uh, codes for you, but I will put some of the shops that I use down the bottom so that if you want to see anything, you can just click on it and you can go straight to it. But that is it for me.